Hey, what's up everybody? This is CLS on the one. Today I'm testing out a battery powered backpack sprayer that can be used for various jobs such as weed spraying, lawn treatment, cleaning, and more. It's manufactured by a company called Chemo and it comes with a three gallon tank with adjustable padded straps, a 43 inch extendable metal wand, a 20 inch plastic wand, a 20 volt lithium battery along with a charger and three different spray nozzles. And here's a look at where the battery is located. This also comes with a couple different speed settings for the PSI. On the number one setting will be for 40 PSI and the number two setting is for 70 PSI. So as I mentioned earlier, this sprayer can be used for various different jobs. But for this video, I'll just be using some weed killer and spraying around my property to test this out. So this is a concentrated weed killer. And for every six ounces of this mix, it requires approximately two gallons of water. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour the concentrate inside the tank first, then fill it up with water. And there's a look at the strainer that's built into the top of the tank. And on the side of the backpack, you'll see that there's some measurement marks for gallons. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up to the two gallon mark. And just to let you know, located on the opposite side is some measurement marks for liters. The lid to the tank has an O-ring that seals the tank for pressurization. And it also functions as a handle so you can carry the sprayer around. Okay, it's time to try this pack on. And this does secure in the front with a clip. The wand does rest on a hook and I am able to reach that no problem. On this side is the on off switch with the different PSI selections. We got the 40 PSI for one and the 70 PSI for two. And right off the bat, I did have a leak right at the nozzle, but it was a quick fix. All I had to do is tighten that fitting just a little bit where the O-ring was and it stopped leaking. The spray nozzle itself can be adjusted for multiple different spray patterns. And what I'm looking for is a wide spray pattern. So my first test here is with 70 PSI, which is working really well, and I'm able to cover a lot of ground fairly fast. And here is a quick test with 40 PSI, which is still pretty good. But for what I'm using this for, 70 PSI just makes more sense because I can cover more area in a faster time. Now let's do a quick comparison between a regular hand pump sprayer and the powered backpack sprayer so I definitely don't miss having to hand pump the tank. But let's go ahead and take a look at the spray pressure difference after spending a minute pumping the tank. As you can see here, the pressure difference is pretty drastic. The hand pump sprayer is putting out about 15 PSI compared to the 70 PSI coming from the powered sprayer. My front driveway consists of rocks, which has to be sprayed a couple times a year to keep the weeds from turning my driveway into a jungle. When using the hand pump sprayer, I usually spend around an hour just spraying the weeds. But when using the powered sprayer, I can get the same area sprayed in about 10 minutes. Now I did run into a few issues with leaks on the spray wand, but it was an easy fix. All I had to do was retighten some of the fittings. After tightening these fittings, the sprayer seemed to work as it should, as long as I didn't make any adjustments after tightening, such as extending the wand. I did notice once in a while after extending the wand, I would have a leak, and this was usually caused by either over tightening the fittings on the wand or not tightening them enough. I found that it has to be somewhere in the middle to keep the O-rings from leaking. And these were really the only issues I've had with this sprayer. Everything else seems to be working great. With a full battery charge, which takes a couple of hours, you get around six hours of spray time, which is way more than I need from my quarter acre of property. Now let's go ahead and try out the 20 inch plastic wand. And this is real easy to put on. We just unscrew the metal wand, then screw this one in place. So the spray pattern with this one is pretty similar to the metal wand, but overall I do prefer the metal wand because the spray pattern is a little bit cleaner. Okay, let's go ahead and try another attachment out. And I'm gonna call this the shower head nozzle and this will thread right on to the end of the metal wand. And this produces a pretty powerful straight down spray pattern that seems to work really well. 
If you're in an area where you want faster coverage, this nozzle could come in handy. So this weed killer takes a few days before you can see any results. And here's a few pictures of the weeds after waiting a few days, and you can see it's working as it should. So overall, I'm happy with this sprayer, and I hope it continues to work, because this powered sprayer makes the job go by so much easier and faster. And if anyone out there is interested in purchasing one of these sprayers, there is a link in the description, along with some of their other products as well. It's now time for me to go. If you like this video, if you could hit that like button and subscribe. And have yourself a great day, and I'll see you next time.